with good hygiene, social distancing and face masks. By now, we know that those are key components when it comes to protecting ourselves and one another from COVID-19. But all masks are not created equal. A new report shows the type of covering you use can make a pretty big difference. Let's go live to health reporter and registered nurse Ali Gorman for a look at the best options. Ali, this really was an eye opening study here. Yeah, it was. And if you remember, we wanted to save the surgical masks for our healthcare workers. So we ended up with all different kinds of face coverings. I have several different options here myself. Florida researchers put them to the test to see which ones work the best when it comes to protecting people around you. Analyzing different fabrics, construction, and fit, researchers at Florida Atlantic University put face coverings to the test. A bandana, a loosely folded cotton handkerchief, a homemade double layer cotton covering, and cone style. In the lab, the single layer bandana performed the worst. Respiratory droplets still traveling more than three and a half feet. The best option was the homemade two layer quilting cotton mask, droplets only traveling two and a half inches. But ABC medical editor Dr. Jen Ashton says take this study with a grain of salt. The simulation is in a lab. In the real world, wind, humidity and other factors can play a role. But even if it is a bandana. To be clear, we are at a stage right now where anything is better than nothing. Masks are essential indoors, especially when you can't socially distance. Outdoor activities overall are safer. As for beaches this weekend, some in Florida will close. New Jersey and Delaware beaches are open, but with guidelines. Experts say this is a smart move. If beaches get super packed, that can be a problem. But if we can keep beaches from getting extremely packed, I think it's great to be outside, and I'd like to see people out on the beaches. I think it's relatively safe. Now that said, if you do get to a beach and it is super crowded, then you're better off going somewhere else. And when you are outside, if you can't keep social distance from other people, then you should be wearing a face covering. Uh, Jeanette, back to you.